How do you want your story to be told? My name is teacher Mark Alegre. Welcome again to another English language arts lesson. Today, we are going to talk about point of view. We will cover three things. First, the definition of point of view. Second, the types of point of view. And lastly, how to identify point of view. Let's begin. Point of view is the perspective or vantage point from which a story is told. A story can be told by the author's point of view, narrator's point of view, one of the major characters' point of view, and etc. The author chooses a point of view to, number one, relate the story as if you were experiencing it, and second, to force you into the story. We have three types of point of view. We have first person, second person, and third person point of view. Under third person, we have omniscient third person and limited third person. Let's discuss each type. First person point of view means you are experiencing it. This is told by a character who uses the first person pronoun I. For example, my heart leaped into my throat as I turned and saw a frightening shadow. Second person point of view forces you into the story. As you can see in the picture, right? This is told by a character who uses the second person pronoun you or your. For example, you turn and see a frightening shadow. What else? You make me happy. You are the love of my life, and etc. Third person point of view shows different points of view. This is told by a character who uses the third person pronouns he and she to refer to the characters. For example, James turned and saw the frightening shadow. He was unaware a cat had walked close to the Lo Hong Lantern. To sum up, first person, the main character is telling the story. Keywords, we have I, me, we, my, our. Second person, the author or narrator is telling the story to you, the reader. Keywords, we have you, your, yours. And lastly, third person, the author or narrator is telling the story, but is not part of the story. Can be omniscient or limited view. Keywords, we have he, she, it, they, and them. Let's talk about the types of third-person point of view. As I've mentioned earlier, third-person point of view shows different points of view. Under that, we have omniscient third-person and limited third-person. Omniscient third person means that the narrator knows and tells about what each character feels, just like what you are seeing in the picture. On the other hand, limited third person means that the narrator relates the inner thoughts and feelings of only one character and everything is viewed from this character's perspective, just like what you are seeing in the picture. Again, remember, if it's omniscient third person, the narrator knows everything. On the other hand, if it's limited, it's focused on only one specific character. Take a look at the examples here. Again, first person is told by the main character using I, me, my. Third person limited uses he, she, they, and describes the events but cannot reveal more than the main character's thoughts. On the other hand, third person omniscient can access any character's thoughts or feelings. How to identify the point of view of a literary piece? Identifying a point of view in a writer's work can sometimes be challenging. The best way to find the point of view is to skip the dialogue go to the narration, and look at the pronouns used in the narrative. 
if you see I, me, my, definitely that's first person. If you see you, your, that's second person. And lastly, you see she, he, her, his, definitely that's third person point of view. Authors may also use direct quotations or a person's exact words to reflect the view of other people involved in the narrative. Last slide, which point of view should you choose for your story? You may ask yourself the following questions. How many perspectives do you need to tell the story? Third person limited or omniscient if you are planning to tell your story in multiple perspectives. Next question, do you want to create distance or intimacy between the reader and the character? If you want to create distance, then third person omniscient or multiple point of view would be fine. Between reader and character, you can use first person point of view. Between author and reader, you can use second person. Last question, do you want the story to be told in the author's voice or the character's voice? Character's voice, use first person point of view. Author's voice, use second person or third person omniscient. That's it for today. I hope you've learned something from our lesson. See you!